I wanted to show you guys that when you come to Morocco, you don't need to get an expensive place to stay. I want to show you that you can come to Morocco and enjoy it and you don't need to be rich. Hi guys, so we're in the airport and today's vlog is going to be a bit different because we're going to Morocco on a budget. Like when I say a budget, I really mean it. We left my bag there. I want to take you with me to Al Maghrib because everyone takes you to Morocco and they show you all these parts that are very luxurious and nice. I want to show you the real Morocco, the side that really makes you connect. So I'm very excited. Let's go. I'm zooming it. I'm zooming it. I'm zooming it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that today I'm not alone. I have a very special guest. My best friend, Dunya. Me <laughs> encanta. Look at this picture. We just took it in the airport. We're together. <laughs> So this is our home in Morocco that we got for 10 euro per night. How much was it? We got this apartment, studio apartment, for 12 euro per night. 12 me, 12 dunia, it was 25. And this is the toilet. Like, this is how it looks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with me, this is the kitchen. And here we have the living room and the bed where we're gonna sleep together. <laughs> it's so nice and the price is so cheap. We wanted to go on a budget and that's why we're doing this. We wanted to feel a Moroccan experience, a humble Moroccan experience. I wanted to show you guys that when you come to Morocco, you don't need to get an expensive place to stay. This is the real deal. Like when you used to go to Morocco as a kid, where did you go? To your aunt's home to your home and it looked like this you slept in the floor with all your cousins and stuff and that's that's the real deal that's where you feel like you're at home and i feel like i'm at home here and i prefer this way better than any any area that's like luxurious or nice she made us tea and she was very welcoming and this is the part that i like about moroccan culture that everyone here is like this they actually treat you like you're their family and i don't know I don't know, I feel very at home. And um, I wanna show you the vibes. I wanna show you that you can come to Morocco and enjoy it, and you don't need to be rich. Dunia's enjoying the tea. How do you feel about this house? Like, I'm home. Feel like you're home? Yeah. What else? And feels amazing. And don't make me talk in English, please. So I'm gonna open the gift that Fatima Gifts. You got me? Got yes. Me? She speaks good English, she's just shy. So, I didn't get her any gifts, like special gifts. Oh, you can see my feet. It's weird. Don't look. Anyways, uh, they're, just, they're not gifts, they're like tiny things that I have collected uh, from other countries and stuff. This is from Turkey. When I went to Turkey. Uh, this is from Mecca, like the, the things that you use to count uh, to make the cup. Oh, matching! So it says, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. There is no power or might except with Allah. And it's like a magnet. Oi. <laughs> magnet. I'm here showing off my gift. <laughs> Last but not least, my favorite gift ever. Ah. <laughs> like a marita baby. The, the one Mecca. from Mecca. And the light is better. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> There's so many people watching like, oh my god. She's getting her that? Yes. 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 Mm, it's actually the thought that counts. We are in the middle of the Medina. And we're gonna go have lunch. It's a little time right now. You can hear the Evan.
¿Cuánto cuesta esto? I want these shoes. Okay. Okay. This is my job. This is the Moroccan toilet. Getting all the dirt out. I don't know if there's any So today's challenge is to eat for 10 euro, which is 100 dirham, the entire day. Let's see what we can get. Yes, we came to this place where we're gonna have kutban, which is like sticks of meat, for 25 cents each. As you can see, we're sitting in this place and we're literally next to other people. Like we're sharing the table with more people. And we're... you're too close, are you? First place is Lydia. So this is the next plate, it's kutban and mm, onions and each one is 25 cents mm. What I do is I get the onion and then the minced meat and the lubia and My bread filled, but even if it falls on the floor, I eat the food, like I don't get disgusted. We finished eating and the food was a 10 out of 10. It was delicious, price, quality and taste, everything was great. So I would recommend, I'm gonna link it here, I'm gonna link the location because I don't know what the, the name of the place is, so yeah. I forgot on my underwear in Spain and I decided to buy underwear from here. Each one was 13 to the home and I got five. Came to have dessert and I ordered this one, which is called Hensha. It's filled with almond and like a syrup that's very sweet. And I got <laughs> I got a strawberry smoothie with banana and milk. So Dunya is going to taste yeah. the mhansha. What do you think? Mm. Dunya is FaceTiming oh, her kids like a good mom that she is. So Dunya is going to buy this sugar can. Mm. I love it. tired from doing so much walking let's see ate a lot for 165 only there's nothing like getting home and resting see you later bye we came out again to have our budget dinner uh, uh? He's teaching me how to fold. So we got this plate. It's 20 dirham tea, and we're getting fries for one dollar. Okay. What I've noticed about Moroccan people is that they're full of life, and even if they may not be getting the best salaries. They're like doing their best, even if they know that they're going to come tomorrow to the same job and do the same thing. They actually do it from the heart, like they're here dancing and like singing for people to take a picture with them. And they do it from their heart, like they actually mean it and it's like wow, wow. And you find people that are so ungrateful with like a hundred thousand K 
salary like they have so much money and they're so ungrateful for what they have and it's like you have these people being grateful and happy and like full of life and it's like wow i love this i love this place and we got this we got sausages as an extra for three euro and we're over for the night a juice to end the night and it's gonna be two euro but divided by two it's one one so we made it for less than 10 euro per day so me and Dunia were talking about the fact that Moroccans one thing that we noticed is that they are very resilient I see people that are working corporate jobs that get a very good salary and they're rich and they have things that people would dream of and they're so ungrateful and they're like oh my god my life is shit and it's like really it's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah like it's so funny it's very late we're going home now we're gonna sleep i look very high but i didn't smoke or anything and yeah tomorrow's gonna be another day this is a short vlog and I hope that you enjoyed this side of Morocco, the cheap side, but doesn't mean it's cheap in quality, it's just affordable. See you soon, bye bye. I, I just bought this.